Okay, we're going to go in and curl the lashes now just to give them a little bit more of a lift. Your lashes aren't fitting. <laughs> I can feel you can't get them in. <laughs> video. Vandaag doen ik weer voor jullie een make-up video, maar wat vandaag nog al special maak is um, een van mijn beste vriendinnen, Tash Pops. Zie je ook in op Instagram. Zij is vandaag hier en ons gaan een basic make-up look doen. So, ik heb al in een vorige video mijn everyday make-up video gedaan, so ik zal die video onder de link. Maar vandaag gaan Tash in het doen en ze is een make-up artist. Ik heb gejoke en gezegd dat ze een professionele everyday make-up look. So, dat leer jullie iets bij haar, ze is professionele make-up artist. Zij doen groot fashion shoots en dit is ook een zuik ontmoet. So, come on, begin. Okay, so here is Tash. Hello, Yella. This is one of the Afrikaans words that I know. She is from Cyprus, interesting fact. Um, <laughs> so, the rest of the video is in English, and also we're in English too. But Tash, um, what look are we doing today? We're okay. going to be doing a very natural look, something that Katrine does every day on herself, just more professional just, this morning. Just like more proper than yeah. what I do, yeah. Just overdoing it. Yeah. Also, oh, that's mine. Are you using soda? Stop it. Gebruik mijn producten op. Okay, so this is Dr. Hauschke. Hauschke. It is a rose day cream. So like an everyday, just moist, easy moisturizer. Yeah, just a nice moisturizer for the morning, even if you're not wearing any makeup, just to help hydrate the skin. And then um, you use the face mist first. Yes. The face mist is also just to hydrate the skin. Okay. Also, you can like wear it on top of your makeup, mm -hmm. like during the day if you need a little bit of a refresher. So before moisturizer, and then maybe even like after your face is done. Yes. Okay. And then throughout the day. It can be like a setting spray for your makeup, okay. and then a little refresher for the during the day. Mm -hmm. You can see we haven't used a lot because this cream does spread quite nicely, <laughs> <laughs> and it's also very rich. Mm -hmm. We're gonna okay. use some strobe cream. This is just on top of your moisturizer, just to help highlight the skin a little bit more and we generally apply it to the high areas of the face. You can use your finger just to apply it so it's nice and soft on the skin. And that one's from MAC? This is from MAC, okay. yes. I see you also using your ring finger. Yes. Because I, um, I think I said that in my previous video. Yeah, you did. Okay. <laughs> I'm so glad you watched it. <laughs> um, but you're apparently using the ring finger because it's not as strong as your other fingers. Yeah, it's, yeah. The, it's the finger with the like lightest touch. Lightest touch. Mm. <laughs> so you can see that I'm just literally applying it to certain areas of the face. Yeah, almost just... like where you would highlight if you were contouring. Yeah. Okay. So Katrine doesn't use foundation because she's got really good skin. Oh, she's one of the lucky ones, <laughs> unlike all of us. So I'm just gonna <laughs> apply a little bit of concealer throughout the whole face. So I'm just applying a little bit everywhere throughout the face and this will act as her foundation. I just want to add quickly that Tash has her own makeup brushes and I've talked about that, Tash Pops. So this is my foundation brush. There's a little hole in the middle, that's to apply your actual foundation to the hole and then you can apply that to the face in circular motions. It just makes it easier for application. So now that Katrine's already got her concealer on her, we're just going to go in and blend. You can see she doesn't need a lot, which is really nice because she's got really good skin. If you felt like you needed more foundation, I would apply foundation first and then your concealer over your foundation. So the concealer you only use to conceal? Yes. So you use it in certain areas, mm. not throughout the whole face. Okay. Especially like under the eyes here. Mm. So you'll see later we will put a little bit more concealer under her trained eyes. So that's just a nice, very basic foundation look. I'm just going to go back in now under the eyes and apply a little bit more cover under the eyes with the concealer. Wise to use lighter under your eyes because like for me it's my dark circles or... You can. Most people do like to go a little bit whiter under the eyes just mm. because it then brings a little bit of light to the face okay. and it's not one monotone colour. Okay. But you don't have to. Um, some people prefer not to, some people prefer to use a lighter concealer. But on you we've used the same shade and I think it's nice. It's just mm. We can create those different depths of colour later on. Okay. So it doesn't necessarily cover dark circles more? No. Okay. <laughs> and you can see I'm busy patting it into the skin rather than 
swiping it, like brushing it away, because then you'll move the concealer from where we've placed it. So you just gently have to press it into the eye area. And that way it also gives you a bit more coverage. We've also used a liquid um, concealer. This also just helps with hydration, so it's not so pasty on, under the eye. Mm -hmm. And voila, mm -hmm. done. <laughs> We're going to go to the eyes now. We're going to use just a soft paint pot. You can close your eyes for me. And then we're gently going to apply throughout, throughout the whole eye area. Because we're keeping the look very natural today, I'm not going to do too much to her eyes. You can see it's got a little bit of a shimmer in Azul, well, which is quite nice. And it'll pick up quite nicely in natural light. It's also a very nice natural color, which goes really well with Katrina's skin color. So you don't pick it up too much but you can definitely notice the difference from the one eye to the other eye. And um, Dash, there's certain colours that work better with certain eye colours. Yes. So for example, green eyes would... So with green eyes you would use complementary colours like browns. Okay. Um, browns pick up on green really nicely and it actually makes your eye colour pop out more. So on blue eyes you could use browns, you could use um, reds, also really nice on brown eyes. And then on brown eyes, you can basically use anything. I'm gonna go in now with a smaller brush and just go into the crease of the eye here, just to create a little bit more definition. And you can see we're just pressing it into the crease and we will blend it out a bit later. So we'll just press it into the area, into the crease area. And then once you've pressed it in, you can start like gently just blending it. And I would take it outwards a little bit and you can see it's given just a slight definition to the eye. You can go in and blend it a little bit more if you don't want it so harsh. You can and then you clean up bit. this way. Yeah. Okay. So and like anything that's fallen later mm. on, we can go and clean it up. But mm. we're putting such a little bit on that you actually won't don't get even much fallage. Don't bother. Yeah. Okay. So we'll do the other eye now, and then once again going into that little crease area. And obviously, if you want it a little bit darker, apply more product. Once again, blending outwards, and you can take it slightly in. If you want, we can also go slightly underneath the eye with that same color, so look up for me. And you can gently just apply a little bit of color underneath the eye. This also helps to give a little bit more definition to the eye area. Yeah, I like doing this because I don't use eyeliner. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it's a really nice trick mm -hmm. actually if you don't like using eyeliner, just to apply a little bit of that same color under the eye. Mm -hmm. And you can already see it's given a little bit more definition to the eye. Mm -hmm. And up for me. If you're doing a more smoky look for the evening, you can go quite heavily with this and then how far into like down down the eye do you go you can go basically to the middle of the eye middle, like okay. there if you want you can pull it right in but i think now because you're doing such a natural look i mm. think it's nice just to keep it towards the outer corner okay and obviously you can blend like the way more you blend it inwards then more natural it will finish mm. off so it doesn't mm. look like it's just stopped just somewhere. stopped yeah okay yeah. okay we're gonna go back in and curl the lashes you can just press this for a few seconds do it at least three times and that just gives a natural curl to the lash. We're going to go into the other eye and do the same thing again and just hold it for a few seconds and then do it, repeat the step three times. Guys always freak out when they see this. Mm. They're like, what are you doing? And you can see that the lashes have already curled slightly, which is nice. It just mm -hmm. helps with the mascara application. So generally when you're working on other people, you need to use a separate one so that you don't, you know, mm. don't use the same applicator. And then from here, we just slightly coat the lashes. You can start right from the bottom of the lash and work it upwards. You can look slightly down for me. A nice little trick if you want to get into the corner here, which most, most people struggle with, is look down and that way for me. And then to get that corner, look down and this way for me. And that just helps coat all the lashes evenly. The more application, the more mascara you'll have. <laughs> Whatever. So smart. Just get it out. Okay, we're gonna go in with the second eye and same thing here. Hold the, light, the eye up a little bit. Obviously, if you're doing it on yourself, you're not gonna do it the way I'm doing it. <laughs> and then just coat the lashes from the bottom. And then you can look down in this way for me. We coat the inner lash. And then you can look down in that way. And then we're just gonna coat the outer lash. 
Okay, so this is a nice um, product for brows. It's called Soap Brows. Unfortunately, you have to order it online. Okay, so what we do is we apply a little bit of face mist to the actual product, and this helps loosen the soap. Is it a soap? Yes, it's a soap. And then you take a little brush, any brush, even your... Your eyebrow brush. Even your eyebrow brush. You can take any brush. I personally like using this. It's really, really nice. And then you apply a little bit to the product. I mean, you apply a little bit on the product of the product on the brush. Mm. And then you just go into the brows and you just give it a nice comb through. The glue will harden the eyebrows and will keep it in place. The more you brush through it, the more styled you can have your brows. Mm. If you want more of a feathered look, you just brush it upwards. I like the feathered look, but I'm not really sure if it's fine like going to Woolworths. People look at me like... Mm. I think it depends on like the look you're going for and yeah. obviously for... A, like not for out, every day Not maybe. for every day. Yeah. But you can already see what the product has done to the eyebrow. It's really nice. And yeah, I can feel it. Yeah, you can feel yeah, it. Yeah, I can feel it. So if you don't want it so heavy, like such a feathered look, you can just brush the eyebrows down a little bit. It's just a nice way to comb through your brows. And now you'll do this after you've maybe fold in your brow if you wanted to no you do this before oh first yeah you do oh, this first okay. just for the brows to set in place okay and then once the soap has dried then you apply a little bit of product to the brows if you want to fill it in so once the soap has dried then you can just go in with a little bit of an eyebrow brush and gently fill in where needed Katrina obviously doesn't need too much because she's got really nice brows oh but I like to fill them in, especially if it's like an evening thing. Yes. Yeah. Just to give it more of a dramatic look. Exactly. Like again, I will not do this going for, you know, grocery shopping. No. <laughs> I'm going to comb through the pencil just to give it a more natural look. Mm. And I think if you brush it first, like you did, then you'll see where you need to fill in without having to overdo it. Exactly. You can see we still need to fill in just a little bit over there. I can see the difference. And while applying this, you apply like actual hairs. So you do thin little strokes so that it looks like hairs. And then once again, just brush through that just to give it a more natural effect. We're going to go now using this Elizabeth Arden bronzing powder. What's nice about this is that it's got four different shades of color. You've got your highlighter, your pink blush, and then two colors to bronze. We're going to use this blush brush to help contour. So we're going to go in with just these two colors at the bottom. And then you can see where Katrina's cheekbones are. If you suck in, you can then see that little line there. Mm -hmm. So you Should gently want to apply a little bit, very naturally, to that area. You can blend it upwards just so it becomes more natural. You don't need a lot because she's got really good cheekbones. And then once again, same thing here, stuck in your cheeks for us. And also going into the hairline a little yes, bit. Yes, just a little bit. And then you can go upwards here into the temple. Temple. Mm -hmm. And you can see we've done we've applied it very lightly. It's just to give a very like subtle contoured look. And also this is for the day, so we need to remember just to keep it more natural. Mm -hmm. This is also a really great colourful blush. It just helps give it a more bronzy look as well. Now we're gonna apply this to the apples of the cheek. So she smiles like that, and then you can apply a little bit of color. Obviously, you can see it's quite pigmented. And you're using the same brush, which is fine, because yes. it's all complementing colors. Exactly. Mm. And you can see it just adds a nice pop of color to the face as well, just blending it outwards. And what is your advice for someone? So like, I'm not confident doing contour. Like, how can you start? A little bit, obviously. I think obviously you can like Google where the contours of your face are and where they should be mm. and then start or befriend a makeup artist or befriend a makeup Which artist. Which is what I did. Yeah. <laughs> Use and abuse. Use and abuse. <laughs> <laughs> I pay you in gin. It's fine. I know. That, that works for me. So it's fine. It's a mutual understanding. Yeah. Yeah. It works. It works. <laughs> so as you can see, it just gives a nice pop of color to the face mm -hmm. and it's not too much as yeah. well. You can use any color that you want on the apples of the cheeks. Like if you want to go for a more pinky look, you can use a more pinky blush. 
depending on the look. And this is probably nice for summer because it's more bronzy. It's more bronzy and it's also very subtle, it's not too much and too heavy on yeah. the face. We're going to add a little bit of a highlighter just to the, up, like the top of the cheekbone over here. You can see the highest point of the cheek, just to create a little bit more of a natural glow to the skin. Once again, using my finger to apply it. This creates a really nice natural glow and doesn't look like you've applied anything. Try not to go too close underneath the eye. You can go more down the cheek. And then we can also apply a little bit to the nose. We're gonna hydrate the lips now with Dr. Hauschka. So you put a little bit of product onto your brush. This is a nice pre-prep for your lipstick. And this is just a moisturizer. Yes. yes. Yeah. <laughs> now we're gonna go in with a very natural lip pencil, like similar to Katrine's actual lip color just to line the lips, give it more definition. So you can see we very gently applying the colour. This also helps the lipstick stay on longer. You can apply to the to like the whole lip if you want. You don't actually have to apply lipstick over this if you want more of a like stain on the lip. So that's so you can see the bottom colour and the top color, like top lip are the same. Very similar. <laughs> I don't know what I said there, but anyway, let's go. It works, fine. <laughs> you can keep close your lips for me. And then we're going to do the same to the top lip. And here you can, like, with lip liners, what's nice is that you can create your own shape. Mm -hmm. So you can play around and, like, create a bigger lip if you want or a more of a cupid's bow. We're going to keep it very natural today. So I'm putting a little bit more colour onto the lips just because the makeup's very natural. So now we're going to go in with a very natural lip colour and just gently apply it to the centre of the lips. If you want over this, you can apply a lip gloss or you can keep it like this. To finish off the look, we're just going to spray some of that mist that we sprayed in the beginning just to set the makeup. You can close your eyes for me. And then just two pumps or three pumps just to help set the makeup. Um, there's no way I could do this myself. As you can see, we've used more natural earthy tones and I think it's really nice for summer just to keep it more natural. If you want, you can add a different lip colour if you're going out in the evening and you just want to like amplify your look. Mm -hmm. But I think it's really pretty and yeah. yeah. Thanks, Dash. Pleasure. And we used your brushes as well. Yes, we did. Yeah. So you can buy them online at www.tashpops.com, which we'll link in the description. Yes. Um, and then also on Tash's Instagram, which I'll also link. She does little makeup tutorials as well. Yes. Um, which is really cool to watch. And yeah, your brushes are also cruelty free. Yeah, they're cruelty free and. Um, yeah, There's just show one. This is a pretty one. So this is the blush brush that we used, which is really nice. They're also matte black. Well, not matte, but they're black. black which is <laughs> great. <laughs> Super elegant. And they're really like soft. Like us. <laughs> really soft. Like yeah. us. No, they're literally, they're the softest <laughs> brushes. Thank you. Yeah. After working like seven years in the industry, I can say they're super soft. So, awesome. And this is the look that yeah. you get from using the brushes. So, um, hope you guys learned something interesting. Um, yeah, thank you, Dash. Thank you. Yeah, and then we'll how see. can how can you go wrong with a face like this, oh, right? Star friends and like and with the makeup artist and with like the makeup this. artist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, we'll see you next week. Bye. Cheers. We are going to be doing a very natural look, mm -hmm. um, something that could train. So, okay. Cool. Cool. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you smell so good. <laughs> That's what she <laughs> doesn't apply properly. <laughs> what is wrong with this concealer? <laughs> um, okay. Don't ask me these questions. Oh, but I'm, I have, we have to add value. I know these questions, but now on the spot page. Okay, think about it. And do it at least like three pumps. <laughs> do it at least three times. So we're taking the face mist and we are going to apply it to the product. <laughs> <laughs> And then once again, same thing here, suck in your cheeks first. And you gently apply. I can't because I'm laughing. <laughs> <laughs> no. There's no way I can do it now. Okay, just make it work.